Hi everybody, it's Cindy in Oklahoma again, and this is gonna be really short and sweet. I am ready to rumble. I'm ready for a fight. I cried all day yesterday, and a lot of the day before. Feeling lonely, purposeless, empty, grief. I refuse. I refuse today to cry all day. So, when I'm thinking, what can I do? I've got to do something. The dog needed a bath, so I gave the dog a bath. She looks beautiful. Then I went in and I put on a little tiny bit of makeup, which is not the normal program here, but um, I am gonna go somewhere and eat lunch. Hopefully I will go where there's lots of families, lots of activity, um, that always seems to lift my spirits when there's a lot of children and parents, you know. But 4th of July, I'm going to wish you a wonderful 4th of July to begin with. But I want to tell you about it in our little towns. Here in Oklahoma, it is a big deal. I mean, going to the fireworks stands, there's lots of them. Most of these little towns like I live in don't have any ordinance against fireworks. Uh, went by one at the Masonic Lodge, and there was literally two big round tables of people sitting out under shade, visiting, because I'm sure they all said, let's go up to the fireworks stand and see who's up there and what's going on. That's the equivalent of going to the coffee shop. Anyway, it was real hard. I took a separate car. I sobbed to the point I didn't think I was going to make it home. But like I said, when I woke today, I said, no, I can't do this again. I, my heart is hurting. I can't do this. I'm ready to fight it. So today I'm going to fight it. Tomorrow I may, well, tomorrow I have to because the big celebration is happening at our house. It was my husband George's favorite holiday. He spent way too much money on fireworks, but he would save money all year long. And when I know when he sold the calves, he always pocketed a little extra and hid it back for fireworks. The grandkids, they love it. They, you know, I went with them because they love, I mean, it's a tradition for my husband and I to go with them and their parents, and they like my billfold. <laughs> they like it to go along, too, but they love to go by the fireworks, and then tomorrow, everybody will come to our place, and we will have a celebration and do fireworks till 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock maybe, not any later than that. And pray that nobody gets hurt. Pray that everybody does things safely. I just wanted to say, some days it's fine to go with the grief. You have to sit with your grief, uh, your loneliness, your despair, your sadness. The, I heard another person calling loneliness a void and I had I had been referring to it that way but I had never heard anybody else refer to it that way so I want you to find if you're sad and alone which some of you have responded and said you are find a way to get out and see other people I don't care if it's walking in the park if it's going to the library if it's going out to eat, if it's going to Walmart. I went to Costco and Sam's yesterday. What a brave woman on a Saturday before a holiday. <laughs> so have a happy fourth. Please join me in a quick prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, I come to you with a prayer for you to help me for you to drag me, push me, pull me, carry me, whatever you have to do. Help me to live the life that you intended for me. 
don't let sadness, emptiness, and grief take over my purpose in life. Amen. See y'all later. Bye-bye.